Hello animators, I hope you're all doing well. Today, we are taking a look at Cartoon Animator and its latest exciting update, Cartoon Animator 5.2, which introduced a lot of exciting stuff. This should make a lot of heads turn and the new features introduced in this release will not only change how you work on your animation, but also make your life that much easier. With that being said, and for full transparency, this video is sponsored by Reillusion. Reillusion, with their assortment of tools like iClone, Character Creator, and our subject for today's video, Cartoon Animator, was always about reinventing and making animation more accessible to a wider audience, and in the process, making animation easier for seasoned users as well, especially in the last few years. Cartoon Animator is finding its strides by presenting a workflow that animators are gravitating towards. Now Nowadays, you can safely say that the software is one of the best, if not the best, especially when it comes to rigged 2D animation. All of that taking into account that the software does so much more and is able to integrate itself virtually into any pipeline. It can work seamlessly and export to and from any major design software. It supports vector and raster graphics and can be used for a plethora of different fields. Uh, case in point, just while writing for this video, I saw this map animation and my video ideas about a treasure tale began tingling. And that's what I'm trying to say. Cartoon Animator is extremely versatile and can be used in so many ways. It actually reminds me sometimes of Blender a little. Uh, I just hope it doesn't fall in the jack of all trades master of nuns bit, which I don't think is a concern because Cartoon Animator is focusing on only one thing for now. Okay, now let's talk about the update. The latest update introduced two main features, Motion Pilot and Motion Path Animation, each of which includes a ton of exciting elements. Motion Pilot allows you to puppet characters or props in your scenes with mouse movements, which would make you quickly and effortlessly generate intricate and complex animations in no time. Motion Pilot also allows you to modify props and characters, blend motions together, assign automatic animations, and add flock behavior for object groups. And what you are left with is the question <clears throat> how the hell has nobody thought of this before i mean it just makes a lot of sense at least from a functionality standpoint to use your mouse but maybe not the other feature in path animation which will enhance path editing tremendously and open up a ton of avenues to be able to animate all sorts of paths in character animator including using the mouse recorded path as a well, a path, doesn't sound exciting when I say it out loud. But trust me, these are some exciting stuff. Trust me, bro. All right, let's just stop beating around the bush. Motion Pilot. Under the Motion Pilot suit, there are four different tools, each serving a somewhat different purpose and almost all of them can be used in conjunction or layered on top of each other. The tools are Transform, Wave, motion and flock. All of these come with a dozen free presets to get you started, but if that isn't enough, Cartoon Animator is offering a content pack dubbed Puppet Gems, with hundreds of presets, but more on that later. So we'll start from the top. First, Transform. Transform is for mouse puppetry. It enables you to use your mouse to drive animations mainly into the X and Y plan, but you can also use the Z depth value to move your subject around something. The subject will turn, or rather flip, with some mouse movements, or better yet, you can use the turn mode which allows you to override object rotation and make your character follow the mouse around. And as we mentioned before, there are presets for transform on the puppet profile subfolder. Uh, there are also a couple of puppet samples already available to test them for yourself. My favorite is this phoenix bird that follows the mouse and flaps the wings every time I click the mouse. Next is wave. And no, uh, this has nothing to do with sea waves, even though it can be used in that way. Wave is similar to transform movement, but it expands and lets you assign automatic waves or repetitive movements on top of the transform movement. The animation can be activated using mouse movements by clicking the use mouse movement box, in this case. If you keep the mouse still, nothing will happen till you move your mouse. Thirdly, Motion Pilot allows you to create animations and blend them together seamlessly. This feature can be used with any type of motion, including character motion, FFD motion, elastic or prop motion, and even image sequences. This process can also be used for transform, opacity, sprite, and deform animations and can be triggered with mouse movements and clicking. If you expand the motion settings section, you will find the blend motion option where you can select and add any animation to blend with your movement. You are going to be able to control the speed of the animation and reverse animation upon a mouse click. 
And last but not least, we have Flock, which allows you to puppet multiple objects at the same time. Basically, you can assign a leader object, which will share the properties with predefined sub-objects. The Flock can be animated simultaneously, or you can use a uniform or random delay, in which case it will take a moment before the Flock reacts. The delay can be adjusted manually. Some usages for this feature is animating a school of fish, a flock of birds, uh... Duh. I mean, come on, it's literally the name. It would be very awkward if that wasn't a use case. Anyway, a swarm of bees, a fleet of jets or boats. You get the point. I actually urge you, if you want to learn more about Motion Pilot, to check out the Reillusion YouTube channel. They put out a well-made curated playlist with videos on each Motion Pilot feature, breaking it down brilliantly. And finally, we have the new path feature, which will allow you to control exactly how and where objects in your scene are going to move. For example, you can pick the beginning and end position of your object animation with the ability to offset the path. But what's exciting is that a single path can be shared with other objects. And on top of all of that, paths now can save both shape and transform data. From the path properties panel, you can parent any object to the path by using the eyedropper tool. You can pick the drag mode and the progression, which is a slider from 0 to 1. Objects that follow that path can inherit different rotations, so you can use the follow path drop down menu to correct their rotation. And of course, you have an offset section where you can offset the scale, rotation, and location of the object. I also wanted to tell you about Puppet Gems. Puppet Gems is a massive content pack of pre configured puppet profiles, such as the one we've seen in this video from the transform to wave motion and so on, showcasing the power of cartoon animators' latest motion pilot. The pack includes 240 plus assets with over 90 puppet profiles, 52 multi-props, 9 CTA, G3 free bones, 7 G3 actors, 140 ready-made objects, and 10 sample projects. Uh, all jokes aside, guys, these honestly look like the greatest resource for 2D creators. All assets can be customized to the full extent and easily fit in any use case. So, if you like what you see and you want to get your hands on Character Animator 5.2 and try it for free, you can follow the link in the video description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for Reillusion for sponsoring this video and we'll see you next time. Take care.